we would understand about finding square root of a number through subtraction. So let us say I have 64 and I need to find out square root. So I need to find out square root of 64. Now how do I do it? But I have to find out the square root through subtraction. In our earlier videos, we had seen that the sum of n odd numbers, sum of n odd numbers is equal to n square. Right? Now what does that mean? That means that if 64 is a square of a particular number, which is say n, then the square of that number is equal to n odd numbers. So 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus up to n is equal to n square. Now we know what is the value of n square here. Value of n square is 64. So 64 is equal to 1 plus 3 plus 5 so on up to n. Now we've all done equal equation, equality equation, right? So what I can do is I can start moving this one here. So 64 minus 1 is equal to 63 is equal to 3 plus 5 and so on. Right? So I keep on subtracting the odd numbers one by one and I need to find out how many odd numbers do I need to subtract to make this 64 as equal to 0. So, I subtract 64 minus 3, not sorry, 64, it's actually 63, because 1 I have already subtracted. I would get 60, then from 60 I subtract successive 5, 55, from 55 I subtract 7, from 48, I subtract 9. Okay, let me take it here. 39 minus 11, 28. 28 minus 13 is equal to 15. And then 15 minus 15 is equal to 0. So what did I do? I basically took 64 number and I subtracted 1, 3, 5, 7, which are successive odd numbers. Nine. 11, 13, 15. And I kept on subtracting till the time I got it 0. Now, how, what is the value of n here? n is equal to basically the number of odd numbers. So I took, how many odd numbers did I take? I took 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So n is equal to 8. And is my answer correct? So n square is equal to 8 into 8 is equal to 64. Which means my value of n is correct. Well, I did this answer, but this is very tedious, isn't it? I mean, it's okay, it was the number was 64. But what if I had supposed 289? That would have been a big problem because I would have kept on subtracting and subtracting and subtracting and there would have not been any kind of a result. So in those cases, how do I compute the square root of a particular number? For that, you'll have to see the problem number 2 of computing square root which is a separate video which we have uploaded. Now what you can also do is that you can join us on youtube.com 
And basically, the only simple thing that you need to do is nothing, but you just need to go. And when you go to the YouTube channel, there's a link which says subscribe now. So the moment you do this, you subscribe us, then whenever we upload any more videos, you will be getting a link to that video in your mailbox. And that makes it very easy for you to keep updated with the further videos which are coming in. So see you till the next lecture is uploaded.